Uh, what's going on, guys? Let me know if you can hear me or not. Uh, what's going on, guys? Let me know. OG Val, what's up, dude? What's going on, guys? Can, can everyone hear me good? I'm just going to basically, uh, I'm watching the draft. And I'm just going to be getting my kind of reactions to the picks as it goes on. I think Gary Bettman's just about finished talking. All good? All right, thank you. Uh, who said that? Appreciate whoever said that. Mike, thank you, man. Little Echo. Turn it down. All right, I think this is a, this is a pretty obvious pick. Let's see if I can. Let's try that. Massive echo. I'm not even talking, how is there an echo? Crazy, okay. Is that better at all? Are you guys actually messing with me? I'm, I'm opening this up. Oh, there's no echo. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Come on. You guys have me like worrying. Come on. Yeah, the heavy reverb. Um, so that's because I'm in like a small room. You can't really tell, but basically, I'm in a new place. It's not a very big room. I gotta get some of those, like, uh, those tiles or whatever to help with that. I've got some, like, blankets laid down, but I know I can do a bit better. But I just got in, like, literally last night was my first, er, yeah, yesterday was my first day. Uh, Zoltrip, thanks, man. Um, should, uh, should tweet out the stream link. Um, ignore the trolls? Dude. They got me. There's- I definitely need to work on the auto settings a bit though. Um, like I said, the room's small, so I gotta like get some of those like tiles or whatever. I could've carpet down, trying to absorb the sound a bit better. So I'm thinking like once in a while I'll hold up the MacBook. Again, if you guys are just getting in now, we're just watching on Sportsnet. I don't I'm not legally allowed to show you the stream, so just give my thoughts, talk about it as it goes on. Detroit picks definitely the weirdest one. will trade the 15th pick um no nah, i think the, i think they'll probably make it that's like the money you would say you know they'll, they'll probably make it but we'll see the sharks I think are actually making some nice moves uh the dubnik trade they got him for free at 50 percent. i think dubnik could definitely bounce back um, and then Brian Donato they got for a third, I think, like, it'd probably take you five or six third round picks to get a player as good as Ryan Donato, so 
Chances are he's better than that third. Um, who's your top five? I'm thinking Lafreniere, Byfield, Stutzla, Rossi. Detroit's the pick that I have no idea. And then I think Raymond uh, for Ottawa. I think Drysdale drops a bit. Sorry, guys. I wanted to make sure I started streaming before Lafreniere got picked. I just put up a video, if you guys missed it, uh, Franchise Features Thoughts. I was out today, like uh, like I said, I just moved into this place, so I had to get like, a microwave, a toaster, just like random, random things. So I kind of like uh, got home, got that video done, started streaming, I was, you know, trying to get everything up in time. Uh, Gretzky Lemieux, really good question, dude. Oh, first selection. Oh, I thought he already had it. Yeah, so no prize there. Lafreniere uh, goes to the Rangers. I'll show you guys. Uh, he just got like this suit on. Whatever else. Family. I mean, that, it's like, Lafreniere was like the obvious first, uh, probably the most obvious first since, I don't know, I remember Matthew Strap, they were trying to say maybe like line and stuff. Lafreniere was consensus, like, there was a couple hot takes saying take Byfield or something, but uh, yeah, Lafreniere was always going to go number one. <laughs> You're echoing. Maybe so. Maybe it's not the echo, but maybe it is people hearing like the bit of the reverb. Oh, it sucks because I don't think at this point there's anything I can do to make it sound a bit better. Um, sorry if you guys are hearing something. I'm trying to move the mic, make it just. I don't know. Hopefully better. Yeah, I just got the setup done uh, yesterday, so it needs a little bit more tweaking for sure. Uh, hopefully it's like all good for uh, NHL 21. Lafreniere's crying inside? I don't know, man. I think Rangers is a great opportunity for him. Um, players of Anajad, Panarin, Kako's there. Kako definitely is going to look for a you know, better sophomore year. Um, LeCavier played for Mushiki Oceanic. I didn't even realize that. That's cool. Um, Laugh going to be ruined by the Rangers. Dude, their offense is going to be so stacked. Uh, Bushnevich, I'm missing somebody. Trom. I think Byfield. I think he's a second coming to Kopitar. I think it's perfect for LA. But uh, you never know. Stutzla is German, so maybe they want another European. Even though I think, you know, player type, it's Byfield. Rangers to the Cup. Toronto, I think they're going to take uh, that defenseman, Schneider. Um, I think it's a safe pick, and I think, I don't know, I think it's probably the pick they make, looking at who I think is going to be available at that point. If a guy like Jack Quinn's available, I can definitely see Dubas uh, liking him. Uh... Oilers get a good pick? They should. Eisman to Lidstrom, ooh. Dude, that's that might be a perfect tie. Baseline fifty points are saying for Lafreniere. I mean, he's good. Uh, I'm watching at Sportsnet now, so it's like their. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it works on TV, but like you just use it on the internet. You got like I got like the playoffs, and then I knew I'd get the draft. It's like twenty bucks a month. It seemed like best deal. Probably cancel it now though, because it won't be hockey for another three months at least. So that's going to audio's kind of messed. Uh, let me see. I feel like it's not terrible. What time is the first reveal? Uh, they already, yeah, the friend here already got taken. Rangers. Audio's okay, yeah. Not perfect, but it's okay. Wait, 
David got COVID, I saw that. That's strange because most people like didn't, uh, like didn't want to share that. So I'm surprised the Oilers shared McDavid getting COVID. This could be a long draft. There's still just, or I guess LA's got like a minute and a half left. I feel like there's at least to talk about with the first pick, like best player available. You take him. I mean, it makes it sense. No, I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm sure he's gonna have like the best, you know, doctors, whatever else. Thoughts on new franchise draft rules? I'm really excited, man. I think it'll be really cool. Um, I'm gonna like definitely like play around with the draft class, high, low, medium, and then the prospects. Same thing. Hockey guy went down with a strike from Sportsnet. It wasn't even showing anything and you couldn't hear anything. Okay, so I guess I'm not showing my, uh, I'm not showing the laptop anymore. Definitely, you're, that's strange. If you're just like your face, I don't really see what the issue could be. Rossi to the wings, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. I think Bythel goes two here, the Kings. I, who do I want the Wings to take? I want them to take Rossi. I'm not sure if that's who they'll take, just because I think Rossi has the highest potential. Some people think it's Perfetti. Raymond, Ray and Perfetti are both ranked higher than Rossi beginning of the year. I don't want Drysdale. I think I want a forward. Okay, LA Kings pick. Rob Blake, let's see what he takes. Quinn Byfield. All right, so we're two for two here on the uh, predictions. They did know Byfield at two, so, I mean, that makes sense. I think Stutzler came up, kind of challenged him for two, but Byfield's been the consensus too the whole time. Just makes a safe pick. Yeah, yeah. second coming at Kopitar. I like that pick. So Stutzla, unless Ottawa goes crazy here. If Ottawa goes crazy, they take Drysdale, they do something, they take Rossi, the homegrown town three, and then maybe uh, Stutzla falls to Detroit. We'll see. This is where the, there's a chance the draft could be interesting here. Um, I'm going to do one thing, guys. Help with the reverb one sec. Hopefully, hopefully that's a little bit better, but probably not. Probably still a little weird. Oh, Scarrow? I think he goes 13 to the Canes. Also, I saw somebody said, I, I like your videos. I missed it because Reyes Bifo got drafted. I appreciate it, man. I, I missed your comment. Uh, I don't show the draft because I get in trouble. <laughs> I, I, you can't you can't stream it. You get copyright. Apparently, someone got a uh, hockey guy got a copyright without, without showing anything, which I don't think is legal. I don't <laughs> I don't think you get copyrighted just for talking, but uh, I don't know. I showed the I showed the laptop a couple times. I'll have to not do that anymore. What does the Sharks trade for Perron? I mean, they definitely need depth. Like I think they have the high end talent on that team, which is the depth they didn't have, especially when they got injured. You saw that last year. It's got to be stuff like three, yeah. But if it's not, oh my gosh, I'll I love that for Detroit. So I forgot to I forgot to tweet the stream out. Hmm. 
The donkey trade, man, yeah. I think I think Columbus won that one big time. When I first saw it, I'll I'll make a I'll make like probably later tonight or tomorrow, just because the draft's a bigger deal. But I'll make a trade some video. I thought um super uh, okay. I don't know what to do with the the mic. Um, I thought it was Anderson in a third for Domi, and at that point, it's just like yeah, Columbus still wins it. But the fact that Columbus got Domi and a third, like I think Domi's the better player for sure. And then they got the pick on top of it, like, I don't know. Fix the mic. Okay, you guys... I mean... I don't know if you guys are messing with me. I don't think it's that bad. Uh, no I'm not, no. Yeah, it's just, uh, what you're hearing is, like, I'm in a small room, and I just moved in, so there's not, there's not a lot in here other than, like, my setup, so it's a bit, it's a bit echoey, like, the, the reverb's kind of high. But, uh, once I get it filled in, it'll be better. I just, I just didn't have time. Just when I type, oh, okay. I'll try not to type too much. Yes, Mike's muted. <laughs> I'm getting trolled so hard. You're gonna make me like have to pull up with my own stream every time. It's not muted. Oh my god. I do hear what you're saying though. It's like oh, I'm wondering what I can do to fix it a bit. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to mess it up anymore. We'll just leave it. Uh, Dawson Mercer. Who do I have him going to? Florida, I think. Oilers, Seth Jarvis. That'd be interesting. Raymond should be higher than Rossi. Maybe. I think um, after the top three, it's pretty wide open. I think Rossi, Drysdale, Perfetti, Raymond. Those four. I think like that top eight. I think any of those four, though, could go four. So they're, they're thinking for sure Stutzla here. You never know, though. Usually there's a surprise in the draft. Cider last year. Um, Arizona took Barry Hayden. Really, uh, you know, it was a Dean falling that one year. Uh, just trying to see what people are saying about Byfield. Centers two, three and fives. Pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Maybe if I can hear my own voice. I don't think I sound that bad. I think uh, Columbus crushed it, and I think they got a great player. And I think they got, like, the fact they got a pick, too, is ridiculous. Ottawa's pick. <laughs> Alec Trebek is making the Ottawa pick? Kind of cool, kind of different. <laughs> and they do take Tim Stutzla third overall. So, I mean, Ottawa gets a great player, and they're going to get another player at five, which is... Oh, they're going to be sacked. They're going to be sacked. They're going to have a lot of good prospects. Boss, people, what's up, man? Uh, I was going to, like, hold up my laptop once in a while to show the picks. Uh, the reason it's on my laptop is so just less issue. Like I don't have to worry at all about accidentally playing the audio on my stream because it's a different device. Um, and I could, and then I could show once in a while like them getting picked or whatever. But um, apparently, 
hockey guy got taken down for just like doing what I'm doing. So that seems a bit. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's like you can do that. So I'm just gonna do this. Make sure I don't, uh, you know, push my luck or anything here. I I, I would show it, um, but don't want to get in trouble. What do you think about training some guys to get the tenth eleven pick and get a scare off? Uh, for Detroit. Uh, I have to trade down and take a scare off, but it really it would really depend on the return for sure. Dude, I'd love Tory Krug on the Red Wings. I know he's uh just crashed. It says it's live on my end, man. Um I think Tory Krug, I know he's a bit older, like for a building team at thirty, but I think uh Okay my my stream's still up. What you guys I get trolled so easily by chat, it's insane. I gotta keep this up. Just just to check on my own. Uh, all right. Do you think Canucks keep their pick? It's a late pick. I don't know. Boston's gonna be stacked. Why'd you say Boston? They're losing Troy Crew. Char's getting older. They're still good. They're like President Trophy winner for a reason. Uh, Jay Foley, nice what's up, man. Detroit's on the clock. I know. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um. I mean, we. I feel like Cider was a reach, but it looked like it might have been a smart reach by Eiserman. I think Zadina, it's too early to tell, but Quinn Hughes was the pick. That's who I originally wanted, thinking Zadina wouldn't be there. So when Zadina fell, it was like, okay, let's take Zadina. Uh, Rasmussen hasn't done much for us yet. We have to hit on this pick. Uh, we just have, we have to. Dry Saddle as well went third overall, so if he could be even, you know, half as good as Dry Saddle, that's a pretty good player. Sider at sixth, some, you know, some Germans coming through in the first round. I forget you guys can't see this, but uh, it's just showing the highest German players. That's the uh, same as Dry Saddle. Sider, of course, was the third last year. I gotta get ready for a tweet here for. Uh, Whoever Detroit picks. Uh, okay. Larson? Like Adam Ekman Larson? Wait, Ekman Larson on Boston? Did he go to Boston? Is it confirmed? Word is Detroit's throwing a curveball. I swear, Eiserman. I swear, Eiserman. That's what Elliot Friedman just tweeted. I can show tweets. You'll have to show tweets. Elliot Fr Uh. What is Eiserman doing? They just got Lafreniere on right now. I'm assuming it's a trade down. I'm assuming it's a trade down, and honestly, I don't mind that. If we pick four, five, six, seven, we get one of Rossi, Perfetti, Drysdale, Raven, and, I, and I'm like I'm pretty equal on all four of those guys. I would prefer a forward, but if one of the, if one of those teams really wants someone in particular, let's pick up a second round pick. Let's pick up a player. Um, Detroit might be trading the pick. Any NHL game? Um, I've gotten like a bunch of 99s. I sold a November stamp coach for like 2.5 million. I sold a teen year line A for 2.5 million. I think those are the two in terms of price. They took a scare off. Okay, I'm, I'm on the stream. I'm on live. There's no way you're ahead of me, dude. I'm like, there's no way.
Okay, what is this curveball? I don't know what the curveball is. Picks in. Lucas Raymond? We'll see, we'll see. I don't know how you could be faster than me if I'm literally paying for it and I'm live, but we'll see. I feel like they're definitely milking the picks a bit. I, th I think like if it's online or whatever, like for, should it go faster than at the draft? I think probably less trades too if you're not seeing guys in person, but we'll see. Um, Ekman Larson of the Bruins, is that... Uh, I don't see anything about that happening. Red Wings pick. Let's go. Chris Draper. Met him. Gave him a little knock at the uh, Spitfires game. Moral Cup. Alright, Lucas Raymond. I figured he'd be one of the forwards... Lucas Raymond was the consensus three beginning of the year. He stays three. Um, I think that was the, probably the safest pick. I think, you know, safest pick. Rossi is the biggest boomer bust. Perfetti is good. He's got the skating issues. Sweden. I, I like Lucas Raymond. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm fine with that. I just didn't want Drysdale. I didn't want another defenseman. Uh, Raymond, I'm happy with that. I think I projected him to go five to the Senators, so I have him going literally next pick. Um, okay, I feel like the Senators they gotta take the home they gotta take the guy in their backyard in Rossi. Stussel and Rossi is kinda nasty. see i'm trying to tweet and talk the stream there's no way ottawa passes on uh, rossi but people putting a scare off you guys get out of here um, okay i just i didn't want them no offense to dry still i didn't want to take dry still after we just took cider i think Hironic and chelowski are solid they're young I want like an impact forward. More safe picks in this first round than ever before, Brian Burke said. That's interesting. It's really interesting. Okay, Sanderson was never going to go for Detroit. Brian Burke, I don't know what he's on about now. Um, Lucas Raymond, though. I know a lot of people uh, a lot of people were saying for Fetty, all, basically because he played for Saginaw, and I think like somebody who works for Detroit is like, know somebody in his family or I forget there was some connection it might have literally just been sick and all but I didn't see Perfetti uh, ever going to Detroit for me it was Rossi maybe Raymond I'm happy with Raymond and just I, I really don't want it to be another like Sedina issue where we look at the draft and it's like five six seven all better players Clappy just texted me bad pick come on I'm not sure how Ra how Raymond's a curveball though. I have no idea what Friedman was uh, was talking about. Lucas Raymond, a mix between he thinks he's, he thinks of himself as a mix between Marner and Panarin. Oh my God! If that if that's true, I mean. Okay, 
Ottawa is about to potentially make themselves a dynasty here with this pick. Like, literally. Um, uh, thoughts on the Sens new old logo? I really like it. I like it a lot more. Chill on the spam, though. Um, <laughs> you made Zake here. Pay to stop spamming. Yes, Feister. You better, you better, um, you better stop spamming now, dude. The dude paid. Thank you, by the way, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll put him, you know what? I'm putting him in a timeout because Zake paid uh, like seven bucks. Thank you, man. Um, wow, so DPS or Torres 2000, top five uh, two teams with two top five picks. Canucks got the Sedins. Islanders got Luongo and Brewer. Both good players. Never really played for the Islanders. And then uh, the Nordiques had just faded away. Ottawa's looking pretty good here. Really good, to be honest. Uh, still Twitch, too. I, I like YouTube for, like, the big event streams. So, like, the draft lotteries, uh, the live reaction of the draft. Um, I might do some other, like... I'm trying to help, help subscribe like big events on YouTube, but then like just generally like just playing like once Angel Twenty One comes out, just playing hot or whatever. Uh, that'll be on Twitch. Basically, if the stream, if I'll leave the stream up as a video, it'll be YouTube. Just save it, like save the hassle. Um, but if it's not gonna be turned into a video, then I'll do it on Twitch. I think that's the easiest way to explain it. Are you gonna play Angel Twenty One uh, via Pro? Love the bits. Yeah, I definitely. I'm looking forward to it. it looks awesome. I haven't. Really, I I played a little bit last year. I was I was going into a series, and I was like, you know, not a whole lot here. I don't know. I just it was I wasn't into it enough. But uh, I think this new one's gonna be awesome. Ottawa picks up. What? Wow. Ottawa takes Jake Sanderson at five. That's, um... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's something else. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how Sanderson over Drysdale for starters is one thing, and then <laughs> to pass on Rossi, like they must have scouted him a ton. He's right in Ottawa. Sanderson, it's a weird pick. Anaheim up next. I think I was thinking Drysdale for Anaheim. Do you take Rossi for Fetty though? Dude, I don't get the I don't get that pick at all. Dude, the Spikester. I, I already said I think it's cool, man. Me. You gotta stop spamming. Put you in another timeout. Three strikes, no more timeouts. Come on. <laughs> I feel like I'm ever getting your parent. Like, chill. Biggest fan? Uh, thank you, man. Uh, trap the crap. The draft's moving to the draft. Chat's moving too fast. Um, Ryan, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Zay, thank you, dude. You don't have to keep donating. 
I probably should have said, keep up the great job in the last message. So I'm doing it in this one. I love your videos, bro. Keep them up. Shelter him one. Let's go. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Uh, both donations. Thank you, dude. It means a lot. And I, I, I have some big plans for Angel 21. So I'm excited to get some stuff going. I mean, we just put up the Angel 21 franchise features video. Doing the draft right now. I'm going to probably have my top 10 uh, right wingers video up after the draft tonight. If there's some more big trades, do some trade videos tomorrow. I assume left top 10 left wings tomorrow, and then what EA access is on the 8th, right? So, a couple days away. I still have the Sanderson pick. I don't know. I think Sanderson moved up from like 20s to like 15 to like 10, and then now he's pick number fives. Insane. <laughs> Shout out to my uh, my buddy Justin watching from Victoria. So they're just interviewing Bythel right now about playing for LA. Ducks pick, two minutes, should be soon. I'm thinking I'm thinking Drysdale, really. And then I need to get I need to get myself a uh, a draft uh, draft order up. I think it's the Devils at seven, right? Uh, Mind tricks, thank you, man. And I think the Columbus Blue Jackets, I think they crushed it. I think when I first heard about the trade, I I misheard or I must have just uh, Thrash, let's go. What's up, dude? Lo I, lo I like the Raymond pick, man. I think uh, I wanted a forward. I wanted either Raymond, Rossi, or Perfetti. I was pretty happy with either any of the three. I felt like Rossi, biggest boomer bust. Raymond, the safest. Perfetti, everyone was high on Perfetti just because of some connection, but Rossi or Raymond for me. And I'm happy. I'm happy. One of the two, and I'm happy. The Sanderson to the Sense pick is strange. And uh, Mind Chicks, get back to your question, dude. I think uh, Columbus crushed it. I think one for one, Domi's better. And then they get a third round pick on top. Like, that's insane. Now, Domi needs a contract. They only have like 7 million bucks. Uh, so I'm curious because Dubois needs to be resigned as well. Uh, so I think Columbus is going to have to trade somebody out of there because I feel like Dubois gets 6 to 7. Domi gets 5. You need, you need 11 to 12 million bucks. So I don't know. They gotta trade somebody, basically, what I'm saying. So, yeah, after the, if the Ducks do take Drysdale, I think the Devils go. The Devils have to go Rossi or Perfetti, and then the Sabres get the other one. Uh, which is insane, because I thought. I didn't think one of those guys would still be there. <sighs> Imagine the Sabres even. I <sighs> will see. This could be a crazy draft. Oh, I just saw Hayden, my bad. Yeah, put me in a timeout. Thank you, uh said that. Hawks haven't drafted yet. Alright. See who we get next year. They're showing uh, every single Mighty Ducks or every single Ducks fan right now. Uh, thank you, Tyler. Appreciate that. The Ducks do go with Drysdale. Okay, so uh, kind of thought that might happen. Hey, look, his family is excited. Dude wanted to go to Cali, I guess. Okay, so um, yeah, back-to-back -back defensemen. They're both off the board. 
And I mean, seven, the Devils get their choice of Rossi or Fetty. It's, I think it's a great situation for them to be in. I thought for sure it won't be gone at this point. Paul Korea for sure. Uh, I was a huge, huge, huge Paul Korea fan. Um, like, he was my favorite player as a kid. Even though I was a Red Wings fan, um, I just loved Paul Korea so much. I like Paul Korea posters and everything. Uh, Cecil's number was 88, not 20. They got his number wrong. Ash Berman. Um, yeah, Max is spamming, eh? All right, Max, chill out. I think we said uh, we'll do we'll do two strikes and then a third strike. You gotta have to just permanent view you. But yeah, I think that's a really good pick. I think uh, the Ducks could use some defense. They have a lot of young forwards. Um, they took Trevor Zegers last year, who I thought the Trevor was going to take. Uh, but Sire's turning out to be pretty similar. Um, they took Isaac Lunch from the year before that. They got Troy Terry, Sam Steele, and Max Jones. Um, I think they needed defense. And you have Drysdale now with Lindholm, who's not that old still. Same with Fowler. Um, there's somebody else I'm missing there. Lindholm, Fowler, Manson. Uh, they got Jacob Larson. I think Drysdale's a really nice addition to that D. I think uh, I think Drysdale will turn out to be better than Sanderson. Yeah. I still don't know what Elliot Freeman was talking about. Where it's Detroit throwing a curveball. Uh, Raymond's like was projected in round four. I don't I don't know what he's saying. Uh, all right, they're taking a break, I guess. Uh, okay, so so far the draft's gone pretty much as we expect, except except for Ottawa's pick five. That's the only pick where I did not see that happening at all. Um, Detroit's my team, uh, Antoine. So it's, yeah, I do think I think I think Drysdale's going to be better than Sanderson. Yeah, I do. I don't not very like pretty much everybody had uh, uh, Drysdale above Sanderson. Pick twenty two for the Rangers. Oh, that's I don't know, man. So far away. Spike, sure, I appreciate that, dude. Just make sure uh, you don't spam. Uh, who could you see being the Mort Sider of the draft? Sanderson's already the Mort Sider, man, because uh, Sider was projected like 16, like 15, 16. Sanderson was projected 10, so it's not as big a jump, but that basically is same, same thing. thing. Reddings are a bad team. Yeah, that's why we, uh, that's why we finished last place. Freeman sus? For real, dude. What, what, what was Freeman on, though? I gotta actually, I'm gonna mention that, maybe someone knows. Um, Alright. The Echo's back? Okay. You made me play my own stream. Oh, uh, Travis, thank you, man. $5. I uh, love vid, vids, dude. Hoping the Wild can get Perfetti or Rossi. There's a chance to get dropped, man, especially after the Sanderson pick by Ottawa. Ooh, there is actually there's a bit of an echo. You weren't lying. Um, I didn't do anything. How, I literally didn't touch a button. How could it be worse? That makes, that makes no sense. I didn't touch anything. Uh, I'm trying to like, just move the mic away from the headset. I'll sit back a bit more. I don't know. Unplug the mic. I think that's a bad idea. I think 
Okay. We can do it. If, if this doesn't work, it's all on uh, who said that? JJ. JJ. We may have just lost audio. So uh, let's see. Oh! Oh, JJ's the goat? <laughs> just. Just a little unplug, plug it back in. JJ, what is up, my man? Ah, you are a genius, dude. Who would have thought? I thought, too, that might actually, like, mess up the stream because, like, it lost the audio connection, but. I think that sounds better than how it, started, how it sounded at the beginning, too. All right, JJ, thank you, dude. <laughs> Holtz. Oh, commercial break's over. We were fixing the mic during the commercial break. All right, devil's pick. Lips getting dry. Wow. Holtz was ranked um, pretty highly at the beginning of the year. Him and Raymond pretty close. Raymond uh, distanced himself a bit, I think, while he went four instead of seven, but holds the Devils. Um, wow. Raymond and Perfetti. Uh, sorry, Rossi and Perfetti. One of them's going to go to Minnesota. I forget. Who was it uh, that just said? Uh, who was it? They j uh, Travis. Wow, they're going to get Perfetti or Rossi, man. Uh, which one is probably going to be determined by Buffalo, but that's crazy. Wow. I thought Winnipeg would get Sanderson too. I th I, they need a D, so I really, I'm really i curious what Winnipeg does. I want to bring up my mock draft. I think I... I want to see if I had holes to the Devils. I think I might have. I'm pretty sure... Oh, I did too, because I remember mentioning how he'd be a good shooter for... Um, for Hughes or his year. I did. Then I had Perfetti going to the Buffalo Sabres. So I'm, we're seven picks so far. I've gotten one, two, three... Four, I've gotten five of seven. I had Rossi at, and four to Detroit opposed to Raymond, and then I had Raymond at five to the Senators opposed to Sanderson. If Perfetti goes to the Sabres, I'm actually looking pretty good here in my mock. Um, all right. Lundell to the Wild. I don't see them taking him over Rossi if he's still there. There's no way, but maybe the Jets would take Lundell. Get Lundell and then, uh, you know, replace one fin with another. Someone mad because my mic sounds better. Mute residuals, why? <laughs> oh, or mute, are you saying mute him? All right, so the Sabres, Buffalo Rossi. It's Rossi or Graffetti. If it's not, I don't even, I thought one of those guys was gonna go to Detroit at four. Oh, yeah, I never, here, one sec, I'm going to quickly, I never put on Instagram that I'm streaming, I should do that. Jack Quinn. Uh, why not Twitch? Uh, if it's like a stream, like I'm probably just gonna leave this up as a video. People can like go through and like look the reactions to the picks or whatever. Uh, I think it's just easier to do it on YouTube. Uh, Twitch would be more for like if I'm just playing uh, uh, games or whatever. I'm trying to see if I can get. Uh, Well, that's a bad pick, but it'll work.
talking about uh, Stutz the pick to the Sens. Let's get the Buffalo pick. A knit left. Perfetti and Rossi both. Perfetti and Rossi both. I put up this poll. Uh, I was asking, did EA get the top 10 right wingers right? Let me start it. 57% said yes. 42% no. I actually think the top 10 right wingers was a pretty decent list. Uh, the defense and the goalies is way worse. Uh, then the right wingers, that's for sure. Eric Stahl was a nice trade. They were talking about that. Uh, Buffalo, I think, got him pretty cheap. Get Spike straight out of here. There. He just can't type now. Ghoulie to the Rangers. Um, I think I had... Who did I have the... Where's my... Th where is it? Who did I have the Rangers taking? I took. I had them taking Wallander. I had Ghoulie going just two picks before them. Uh, Devils take him at 20. I'm thinking uh, JJ with the, the shout-out fixing the mic. I must have just not been plugged in all the way. I was just like looking at it. I really, I think the Raymond pick's good. I wanted Raymond or Rossi. Um, Raymond being the safer of the two, Rossi the more boomer bust. I'm just glad we didn't go defense. I wasn't really high on Perfetti at four. We got Sabres pick in though. I like Raymond. Mark Stull, future, future, you know, captain of the team. Oh, oh wow! He goes Ottawa sixty sevens. I assumed Marco Rossi. Then he says Jack Quinn. Wow! Wow, that's insane. Jack Quinn's a sniper. He had like fifty goals this year, but better player than Rossi. I don't know about that one. I find my man. I'm trading up. I'm trading up. I want. I want Rossi. Wild might not do it, but the Jets. Maybe we can dangle Chilowski or something. I can't believe that. Like he completely got me. I, I heard Auto 67s. So I'm like, oh. Marco Rossi, the Buffalo. It's a good pick. I predicted Puckoff or Perfetti, so I was hoping I'd have been right. But then. Jack Quinn. I'm shocked. That's a, that's a shocking pick. Uh, Sanderson was a shocking pick. So, Minnesota, Winnipeg. If it's not Rossi Perfetti here, like Lundell, L there's a chance Lundell pushes one of them out. We're saying Jack Quinn could play center? It's interesting. I think he's more of a winger, though, but you never know. Winnipeg's 10th overall pick. Rossi or Perfetti's insane.
James Duffy said, I hope Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, and Jack Quinn can play, can play together someday. That's kind of cool. Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, Jack Quinn. I like that. Everyone just saying, like, I think I think everyone got got. Like, they go up to the podium or the internet podium. Yeah, from the August 67th, here it is. Rossi's getting taken at 8. And then, Jack Quinn, are you kidding me? Dude, if I'm Irish, I mean, I like Rossi. You gotta go hard here. I don't know what. I feel like you can get him. Um, like, what can we give? I'm thinking, I don't care. I, I'm good with Rossi or Perfetti, so let the Wild take their pick. Who knows? Maybe they take Luntell. Um, but you try and get that Jets pick. Chalowski, DeKaiser. Are they interested in DeKaiser? I'm going to sell your attention. DeKaiser, Chalowski, and Earl, and our second. That's like the first second, first pick in the second round. That doesn't do it. <laughs> that doesn't do it. Um, Rasmussen. I'm throwing. I'd, 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 be, I'd be making a call. You got to. Rossi to Winnipeg. Rossi to Minnesota. I was actually hoping. It'd be cool if they went to the same team. But I don't know. I remember the one year. like There's always some that falls. The one year's Fowler fell a lot. And it turned out. You know, he didn't. He shouldn't have fallen. So, a lot of times when there's a guy falling, it doesn't necessarily mean he's bad. It just means, for whatever one reason, or he's falling. Let's see. Just have Hellebuck. <laughs> Bacchus and Kessler. I mean, for the right price, dude. Detroit's got cap space. We could definitely we could take some guys like bad contracts like that. Um, Minnesota. Thirty seconds left. They should be picking soon. Um, Scare out to Minnesota if he does. Who's pick eleven? Who's pick eleven? Nashville. Go after Nashville to get Rossi or Perfetti. If I'm Eiserman, how do you not? We suck. We need some top end talent. Petrangelo to Detroit. That's even less likely than the crew. I like Raymond. I think I wanted him or Rossi. Apparently Raymond was the pick because Rossi's still available, so we could get both, which would be unreal. Minnesota's picking right now. Let's see who they take. Bro, we took Cider. Our defense isn't terrible. Heronic's really good. I forgot they took Philip Johansson in 2018. I don't think he's... Done much, but I don't know. And there it is. Minnesota Wild take Marco Rossi. So, finally gets picked. One pick after Jack Quinn, which is super surprising. He was saying how he wants to make the NHL his first year. So, I think that could be a really good pick for Minnesota. I said how they needed a center. Um, like, all their kind of players are wingers. All their good players, that is. Um, I think I have them take Lundell. Rossi's a lot better player than Lundell, I think. So that's a great pick for Minnesota. Um, Perfetti's available at 10 for the Jets. If I'm Detroit, I'm going to try and get him. Perfetti, though, on Winnipeg. 1-2. Shifley, Perfetti. It's kind of a nuts combo. Someone's saying Jack Quinn better fit for Buffalo, uh, Rahanic, because Eichel needs a sniper, so that's a good point. 
I don't know if I like drafting based on... I feel like you just have to take the best player, though, and then hope, you know, good players can play together, make it work. Man, the Wild are... Yeah, they're kind of clean, I would say. Trying to lay a lot of guys. I think a scare off goes 13 to the Canes. Thought it'd be a scare off. No, I think they like their younger goalie. Uh, Kasek... What's his name? Why can't I remember? Uh... Kakinen. I think they're pretty high on Kakinen. And then uh, Stalock kind of, for now, can it kind of be a tandem with Kakinen? <laughs> Burke said Rossi's as wide as he is tall. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but... This guy mentioned small centers, then says Crosby 5'11". There's a ton of 5'11 centers, like Duchesne I think is 5'10". <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a stretch I think, calling Crosby short, but uh, go off. So Winnipeg, I think you have to take Perfetti, like I'm trying to, there's no one else left to take. It's Lundell, but um, the pick has to be Perfetti. I think, again, him and Shifley is your 1-2. It's just too good to pass up, I think. Sorry if I'm a bit fidgety, fidgety guys, but I could be sitting here a while, so. Uh, did Ottawa draft well? I liked, I love the Stutzla pick, obviously. I think Sanderson was a reach, though. I think if you want a defenseman, you take Drysdale there. And they're actually just talking to Sanderson right now. He's saying how he's super excited and pumped up. The dude looks tired. Uh, somebody's going to jump on Gooley. That'd be a big jump if the Jets do that. And again, 11's Predators. Uh, I'm, someone's got to trade up who didn't think they could have a shot at Perfetti. You had him say. I'm sure someone had Perfetti in the top five. If you did, how are you not making a call right now and not making a trade? We'll see. I want, I want a trade. I want a trade to go down. I want some, I want some action here. Hmm. I want to see what the Buffalo Series fans are saying to Jack Quinn pick. <laughs> uh, they're pretty upset. It might turn out okay. The guy, had, the guy had fifty, but we'll see. Alright, Jets pick should be coming in soon, like 30 seconds left. Hawks trade for 11th? I want to trade for sure. Blues trade up for Perfetti. Blues would have to trade up quite a bit. <laughs> this, okay, <they're>, okay. <laughs> this guy said a scare off, but they have Hellebuck. Like, no. <laughs> you don't take. A goalie if you have the Vesna winner. Like, you don't even need to mention that. Cole Perfetti's still waiting. I feel like it's got to be Perfetti here at 10 to the Jets. Smartest player in the draft. And hockey IQ is huge. Alright, pick Sand, let's let's see it here, boys. 
Hal Connor had 38 goals last year. I didn't realize that. He had a really good season. OEL trade tonight. I think I think that he, he has to get traded by tomorrow could, or something like that. Because he said he if he's not traded before the free agency period, then he's just... Because he, he has no trade clause, right? He's just going to be like, can't trade me. All right, Jets pick. It's got... If it's not Perfetti, I'll be shocked. There's no one left. He's better than Lundell, one to one. So, Winnipeg's existed for ten years now—a decade. I didn't realize that. It didn't seem that long since the Thrashers in the NHL. You know, the wife of uh, Dale Howard checked making the pick, which is really nice. can't hear her though. <laughs> oh, thanks Taylor. All right, Winnipeg pick. There it is, Cole Perfetti. All right, so Perfetti goes to Winnipeg. One, two, Shifley, Perfetti. If they don't trade Line, you got Line, Connor, Wheeler, Ehlers on your wings. It's kind of sick top six, to be honest. Uh, Hawks to trade up. I mean, now it's like Lundell, Askarov. Um, after those two, who who's kind of left here? Dawson Mercer is probably going to go soon. Um, Dylan Holloway, I have in my top 15. We'll see. I think the Preds need to scare off. Saros isn't bad. But, but yeah, they could, like, you're, if you're, he's supposed to be, like, the next Carey Price or the best goalie prospect since Carey Price, you know, it, it might be worth pulling the trigger. I love that pick for the Jets, though. I think uh, he's got the same colors. Saginaw's white, red, blue. Jets are white, red, blue. I feel like he looks good as a Winnipeg Jet. Shifley's a really smart player too, so... Jeez, I don't even care. Put Perfetti with literally like any of those four. Ehlers, Connor, Wheeler, Line. He's going to be sick. Now, if they trade Line, a, that's going to be a... If they do that, they gotta, they got to get a haul. Like, they better get a top four defenseman who's still youngish, a top prospect, like... I don't know. They gotta get a lot. Oh wow. Uh, whoops. A little small, not the fastest, but I mean, you can get bigger. Nashville at 11 is going to be interesting. Alright, they're just pumping up Perfetti right now, which, I mean, makes sense. I think, I think he's a really good player. I think 10, he dropped quite a bit here. Montreal trade a 16th overall pick? I don't think so. I had them taking LaPierre. 
I think that's a really good pick. I think LaPierre, um, like, he was injured. If it wasn't for that, I think he'd be higher in this draft. Obviously, the, the French connection. He stays healthy, steal the draft. Wow. Yeah. They're talking to Drysdale now. He looks pumped. Dude is so pumped. I'm not sure if he's just pumped to get drafted or if he like... Dude, really, maybe a guy like surfing. He really wanted to go to Anaheim, go to Cali. Uh, Freeman's saying there was rumblings, National Michael goalie. How can I, Tugi, how can I trust you, honestly? Um, Drager's saying Jets could have traded down, but made the smart decision for sure holding on to that pick. I definitely, yeah, you, you wait, like, I don't know. If I'm them, it would have to be a really good return. I was hoping Detroit could make it happen, but we'd have to overpay a lot. Gooley to Florida? Yeah, they definitely need defense. That's a reach, though. Like, I, like, I think the forwards in this draft class are so much better. I think you might just take players. Um, national pick is in. All right, let's see. Oh shit! I'm not falling my desk here. Poil is like the longest standing GM, I think. Only Predators GM. Yossi. Norris Trophy winner's going to make the pick. He got slighted by, yeah, he should have been a 91. Should be higher rated than Doughty and Carlson. Only Hedman, I think, is probably better. Wow. Nashville does take Ascaro. That's crazy. It's a little bit too late now, but in my mock draft, I was trying to decide between Nashville or Carolina taking Ascaro. Everything I've read said so that they're still pretty high on Saros to be like their you know goalie of the future after Rene. Apparently not. Apparently Saros, they're like, you know what, screw it. Uh, we'll take the next Gary Price. That's a good pick. I, I like that pick for Nashville. I, I, I have them taking Jack Quinn. He's not there anymore. Lundell, they, they really don't need. So I think it's a good pick for Nashville. I like that pick. Alright, so if Dawson Mercer goes to Florida here, I hit a pick. And then if Holloway can go to Edmonton. And I think Schneider I had going to Toronto. Yeah. We'll do a decent top 15 prediction. It's my last, at least, edition of it. But yeah, I like that Oscarov uh, pick. Hmm. I know the Leafs pick's coming up. Everyone's the Leafs pick will be interesting for sure. That'll that'll get Twitter buzzing. No matter no matter who they take. If Dubas trades it, that'd be even crazier. Um. Alright, doesn't really look like Nash. Florida's three and a half minutes left. See who they can take. 
I'm thinking Dawson Mercer, Anton Lundell, Dylan Holloway. One of those three. I don't see them taking a D-man, but I mean, you never know. <laughs> they could go Schneider. They could take a D-man. They could go Gooley. Mercer Montreal. He could. He could. He could fall. Hall the Flames. I think. I don't. If he went to the Flames, it would be such like an F you to the Oilers. I think he could do that. He could go to the Oilers. The both could make it happen, which is kind of nuts. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I like that pick. I like that pick for the Preds. Let's get the Florida one going. Come on. Do us for sure is trading it. Schneider the Hurricane. <laughs> Dude, the Hurricanes take a defenseman. They're already so stacked on D. Like, I don't even know. Like, how many defensemen can you need? They got Hamilton, Slavin, Pesci. Uh, they have Flurry. They have Jake Bean. They have Shehe. I assume they lose Vatnin. Who cares? Um, I think they have another Penny UFA, but TBR, again, who cares? The defense is stacked. Oh, he's probably ecstatic to take uh, Perfetti. They're talking to the GM right now, the Jets. Slavin's really good. I was saying how Slavin or Hamilton both could have been top 10 defensemen um, for the ratings. I'm hoping a trade happens, uh, Godfather, but I don't know. Sens are stacked. I still don't know about that S Sanderson pick. I just I don't know about that one. Give Anaheim your pick. I mean, it worked out. <laughs> We're talking about the uh, John Gibson, Ricard Raquel for Tyler Biggs. Just uh, embarrassing. I mean, Brian Burke, you know, he drafted the Sedines. He did some good things, but yeah, that was a tough one. Have a trade to announce? I'm hoping we hear Gary say it, man. I'm hoping. But I'm not looking that way. Schneider's a top-notch Polak kind of player. Okay, that's pretty high praise there, Rob. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, Florida's pick coming up. I don't even know who this, who this guy is. Bill Zito. Thank our fans. Not a lot. And Florida takes Anton Lundell, so they take the obvious pick at that point. We said how after Perfetti was scare Robin Lundell, probably gonna get taken, and they both do. So now, yeah, now who knows what's gonna happen here? I think Lundell's a nice pick though for Panthers. Uh, they trade away Trocek, so he could come in be a solid 2C behind Barkov. Both finish. Um, remember when Corey Schneider was good? I know. I think it was just injuries for him. Because, um, like, you don't go from being that good to kind of, like, how is that bad mean? But, like, you know what I mean. You don't drop off that fast. You think Lundell's a steal? Interesting. Jarvis for Edmonton? I've seen a few people say that. Why Why Jarvis for Edmonton? Uh, the Pierre's going to Carolina. I like Hendricks to Pierre a lot. I know, for thinking their fans. I remember I was at the awards and uh, there was some Finnish guys <laughs> and Barkov, like, live at the awards said, I forget what he said. 
He's like, no, there's more, there are more fans here than in Florida or something. It's like, he's ripping on his own fan base, but I loved it. Uh, love the Perfetti pick for the Jets, I agree. Uh, Lundell's a sleeper pick. He has played with grown men for two years now. True, I just heard his skating's not the best. Apparently, he's, he's got to work on the skating, more so than Perfetti. But uh, he's got the skill set for sure. Comparable Sean Couturier, wow. Uh, hockey IQ, two-way game, room to improve, speed agility, top six center. Holland said if Jarvis isn't there, he's going to trade down. Where did he say that? I didn't see that. I like Dylan Holloway, too. I think uh, like he played on Wisconsin, a stacked college team. Looked pretty good, freshman. I think they're doing an ad. Dylan Hallway is pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I Dawson Mercer, Dylan Holloway, Jarvis Schneider, maybe a reach on Gooley. I could see somebody being a lot higher than other people. I thought the Jeffrey thing I would do was pretty cool. Who does Tampa take? Yeah, they know their first round pick for the next two years, but they got a cup. I still, even with the cup, I don't like the tra Coleman trade, not bad. The Goudreau trade, I don't like that. That was, that was way too much. Actually, Coleman trade, I don't really like either, because they didn't just give up a first. They gave up a first and Nolan Foot. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's so much. Curious. How is Sanderson the fifth pick? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Lafreniere depends who he plays with. I think he can put up at least 50 points, though. Is Hall's back in Edmonton? That means no more Nugent Hopkins? Uh, not necessarily. They can actually... I looked at it. They could fit him. If they get bare on like uh, bridge, if they can trade Russ, uh, Chris Russell for like anything, um, it'll be fine. I think Cole Perfetti is a great pick for Winnipeg at ten. When you find out you got drafted by the Sens, pain. Yeah, Sanderson did not. He was saying how pumped he was. He didn't look pumped. This girl looking at McDavid and Lafreniere said, world's two best hockey players. It's a, it's a bit of a stretch for Lafreniere. Dude wasn't even drafted yet, but, uh, you know, respect. Jack Quinn walked off screen. No, he's not making the playoffs for a while. Talking about the Canes as well, the Oilers pick. A lot of Oilers fans want Seth Jarvis. We'll see, we'll see if Holland makes that happen. See what the Kings take here. Yeah. 
Well, Oilers aren't getting Seth Jarvis because he's going to Carolina. Sorry, Oilers fans. I have Oilers taking Dylan Holloway. I think he's a good pick if, uh, if they take him. Seth Jarvis, 98 points in WHL, 42 goals. It's pretty nasty. Portland Winterhawks. I think I had him going to Chicago. I, I didn't have him going this early. Let me see. De I definitely got that pick wrong. Uh, where did Chicago even pick? Yeah, I had him at 17, so four picks later. Definitely knew Canes weren't taking a D, man. The scare has gone. Makes sense. Trying to see like any uh, anything on Twitter about potential trades or anything going on, but nothing. Looking for Friedman, Bob McKenzie, a little uh, ball bomb, but <sighs> not seeing anything. Alright, they're just talking about Seth Jarvis a lot here. I'm looking at, uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm looking at the fancy. Anyone play fantasy football? I'm trying to see waiver wires right now. I feel like they have time to kill because still got three and a half minutes here to the Edmonton pick. It was a good pick up here. The Browns running back. Yeah, I don't think Edmonton takes a D, man. Broberg, Bouchard. They got guys coming through. Jones is still young. Bear. Hmm. Oh. I think Holloway. Mer Mercer. Mercer could be a pick here. Yeah, I like Mercer too. Um, the Oilers need a defensive defenseman. <sighs> it's like the one thing they don't need. <laughs> Mercer, I like Holloway, LaPierre. Um, Zeri, Zeri's not a bad pick either. Let's get the Edmonton pick, but a minute left.
Uh, Clef Palm. Ethan Bear is looking really good. He's young. Um, they got a lot of options. in Edmonton Holloway I like Holloway I haven't taken Holloway in my predictions so it makes me look smart and they take Dylan Holloway there we go I think that's a good pick for them I think uh, he was projected actually like 10, 12, uh, you know, not too long ago. I like that pick a lot for Edmonton. So, um, Dawson Mercer now, Hendrix LaPierre, both guys I think are going to be going. I had Toronto taking Schneider, but if Dawson Mercer's there, I like that pick for the Leafs, honestly. I know they need defense, but I think he might be best player available. You got him on your mock too? Yeah, so a few people did. I didn't know around where he was going to go. I feel like he's a versatile guy. He can play center, can play wing. He's playing calls already, so... You know, maybe he can get to the NHL a bit quicker. He's like one of the youngest players in college, so... Already playing against a bit older competition. I mean, yeah, he's all smiles. Play with McDavid and Dreisaitl. How can you not be? Come on. Just, uh, if you guys missed it, I made a um, NHL 21 franchise mode uh, features video today. I put it out literally at 7, so kind of like as the draft started. It wasn't the greatest timing, but like I was mentioning, uh, I was out just doing a bunch of stuff. Jordan Stahl comparable? I mean, what I heard, he's a bit more offensive than Jordan Stahl. Jordan Stahl went like, what, third overall? He's going 14th. Yeah, Wisconsin. D Dylan Holloway, Cole Caulfield, Alex Turcott, Condre Miller. They have so many first round picks. Uh, Jack, what's up, man? I appreciate that. Yeah, they're saying he's a big guy like uh, like Jordan Stahl. All right, the least pick, the pick everyone cares about. Curious what happens here. Mercer or Schneider here for the Leafs. Either Schneider's like you need, Mercer's best player available. So 
see what happens. Hey, Tax just joined. What were your thoughts on Cole falling 10? I thought that was crazy, man. And I think the Jets make out, obviously, like Bandits. Shifley 1, Perfetti 2. It's a pretty good spot to be in, for sure. Oh, that's cool. They have theirs in the locker room, their little war room. That's really cool. Stall's only had 50 points once in his career. Yeah. Like I said, I think Callaway's a bit more offensive than Stall. Uh, but you know, he's a big center. He can, he's a two way guy. I think a better comparison might be. I think they compared Lundell to Couturier, but I feel like. I don't know. Thirty seconds left. Leafs pick. Still doesn't say picks in. Must do this on the phone. I mean, how long of a clock gonna run here? Building the tension. Why do people hate the Ducks? I don't really think many people hate the Ducks, to be honest with you, dude. Wow. Interesting pick for the Leafs. They take Rodion Amirov from the KHL. Marner t made the pick. Almost uh, butchered hit there. Riley behind him. Uh, he's another guy, like, he could be pretty good. Like, in the KHL, he had two points. But 21 games played, KHL is the next best league in the NHL. And he's 17 playing in the KHL. Um, it's an interesting pick. Uh, Dubas must have, uh, you know, he's... Pretty high on him. They do a lot of stuff in Russia. Mikhaev, obviously, Zaitsev. Um, they got they like you know they got some good Russian scouts. So if I'm Tron, I probably trust in Dubis. Uh, Amirov was supposed to go mid draft. Um, I think I actually had him going 15 on my mocks, but to a different team before like we actually knew the order. So yes, yeah, a very interesting pick for sure. Hate Dubis. I mean, it might not turn out to be the worst. We'll see. Tw Twitter's gonna. Twitter will hate this pick, for sure. Still no trades either, halfway through the draft. The biggest trade of the day, Anderson, Domi, obviously. I mean, it's gonna be tough, honestly, to beat that draft. Three years away from the NHL from Amarov. That's pretty far. It's like half of a Matthews contract. Why do we? Why do you look so miserable? I mean, I'm just I don't know. In in, bet in between the picks, they're just like filling the airtime basically. So I'm looking at Twitter trying to see some buzz about trades or you know reactions to picks and looking at the chat. You can't be excited like three hours. Actually, it's looking like it's gonna be four because started streaming just after seven, just at the halfway point. That's it's gonna be long. Stupidest GM ever. I don't think he's that bad. I think Dubis is aggressive. I respect it.
up here to the halves. That's what I said, man. I, up here just fits French. They took out Chenyuk. They weren't afraid of the injury. That was Bergevin still then. Um, I think Lapierre is a bit more risky. I like Lapierre a lot. I think if I'm Montreal, I wouldn't. If I'm Montreal, I'm taking Lapierre. We'll see, we'll see though. I don't think Canadians go defense here, but they're mentioning defense. I, again, I think they just talk. I, I don't know. I did like the Cole Caulfield pick last year for the Canadians. I liked that a lot. I thought Caulfield had been gone, but he wasn't. So I like I like that pick, especially people said they already had guys like that, but best player available, you gotta take him. If they do it again here, it should be up here. Wow, Montreal takes Caden Gooley, so they go defense a bit high. I think I had Gooley going like 20, so I mean, it's in the same range. And I guess they really just, they wanted a defenseman, he's bigger, 6'2". Uh, Brendan Gooley, I think, on the Ducks. I don't know. I don't think Gouli was the best player available there. Bergevin says I take best player available. I, I don't think Gouli was. We're going to look back on this draft. Maybe I'll be wrong, but uh, I think Lapierre was the pick. Uh, yeah, Gouli was solid. Hmm. The least pick? I think it's a different pick. I wouldn't say it's a bad pick. I just thought they were going to go like Schneider because of, of need. Um, but I think Amirov, you could definitely argue, was the best player available. He was a mid-first rounder. Russians are always hard to judge. Um, the Leafs seem to have a lot of Russian scouts signing guys like Zaitsev Mikhaev, I mentioned. Um, so I think, I don't think that's a terrible pick for the Leafs, really. We'll see, though, we'll see. <laughs> he said, as serious as a heart attack. That's an interesting, uh, analogy. Dawson Mercer hasn't been picked yet either. It's like Chicago Mercer, Lapierre Mercer, or Chicago could get Mercer or Lapierre. Both good picks in my opinion. Mercer Schneider and yeah, the Hawks they took what back-to-back -back D's last year was it last year Bockfist and um, Bodwin I think uh, Columbus won that trade for sure man getting Domi uh, especially with the third like when I first heard it I thought for sure it was Domi for Anderson and a third and I was like oh they got Domi and a third for Anderson like what a return I thought Anderson was gonna get traded for like a second so they get Domi and a third that's insane. Like, Anderson didn't have the greatest year. 
Um, I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty surprised to be honest that Montreal did that trade. Uh, maybe he'll fit really well there, but I think Domi is gonna thrive on Blue Jackets. Uh, Will you go? Thank you, dude, for the. Uh... Wait, Alcatraz got bought out. Is that? Yo, wait, 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 really? Like during the draft, they bought his ass out. Uh... Is that true? Or did it happen earlier today and I missed it? I'm on cat friendly right now. Uh, well, we have more cap space all of a sudden. They did buy him out. Dude, it's an... I don't know. The problem with it is... We're not going to be... We weren't going to be good the next... He had three more years, yeah, because Nielsen had two, Avocator had three, his buyout's six years long. We weren't going to be good for the next three years, so you could argue you hold on to that bigger cap hit for these three years, but maybe Eisman's optimistic. The cap hit's not too bad, 1.8 this year, then 2.3, years two and three, and then years four, five, and six when we will be good, it's only a million bucks. So you save money now, and then when you add money, it's only a million. Cap should be higher then. We actually had the Stephen Weiss buyout the last year of it this year. It's kind of crazy. That turned out to be a bad uh, signing him, letting Phil Pula go. It turned out to be pretty bad. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, though, because it shows Eisenman's not loyal to Ga or Eisenman doesn't have loyal... Like, Eisenman's loyal, but he's not going to uh, value loyalty over on-ice performance. Abelkater just wasn't good enough anymore to be on the team. Uh, I don't think Holland would have bought him out. Holland might not even let uh, Erickson and Howard go. He might have kept them for like another year minimum on like a cheaper deal, but kept them. Eisman's like, you know, they're not good enough to be on the team anymore. Just let them go. Buys out the applicator. He's making the tough decisions. I like it. Gives us a bit more money. Yeah, that's something Holland wouldn't have done. So I'm glad we have Eisman. How did I miss that? What time did that happen at? It might have been when I was like out. Oh no, never mind. It happened uh, before I woke up. That's why. Like that. Thank you, dude, for letting me know. I would have missed it otherwise, probably. Well, for a little bit. Thoughts on Holtz of the Devils? I think he's exactly what they need, man. He's a sniper, he's a shooter. Uh, someone for Hughes or his year to give the puck to, right? Schneider had been perfect for the Leafs, yeah. But if he thinks Amirov is just the better player, just, you know, straight up. I'm thinking Mercer. Mercer LaPierre, we'll see for Chicago here. Lucas Reichel. Wow, that higher than I expected him. I had him in uh, late 20s, I think. Reichel, though, to the uh, Blackhawks. I did see some people had him a lot higher. Some people had him going to Edmonton. Um, interesting pick. Yeah, he plays in Germany. So another German in the first round. It's pretty interesting. A lot of seems like Germany is becoming more of a, a hockey country, which is pretty cool. The Devils now have their second pick. I'm hoping they can speed this up a bit, though. Two hours in, and it's like just over halfway through the draft. Uh, Lucas Reichel's a German player. Um, if I, there's two I get mixed up. If I remember, he's got a little bit of tenacity to his game. Uh, some people were pretty high on him, though. and I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know too much about him. but um...
Hmm. So New Jersey. They might want to defense me because they took Colts already, but I don't know. For me, it's I'm still saying Mercer. I've been on Mercer since like pick thirteen. Um, Lapierre, I think at any point too is a steal at this point. Like a uh, really good player. Another guy just kind of like he didn't play a lot, so I don't know. trying to think if, if it's not Mercer or LaPierre who else who else could be going at this point if they want a defenseman Hallander there's really not many other defensemen left um, Justin Barron Noel Gunler is also a possibility I actually that's who I actually had them taking at 18 Noel Gunler uh, he's also a pretty good scorer Swedish they get a couple Swedes there I had them then taking Caden Gooley with pick 20, which they can't do, but they could get, like I said, Wallander, Barron, so they still get a couple forwards and defensemen there. Um, Interested. Schneider? Schneider as well. I, yeah, he's still available. Are you going to do a be a pro? Yes, I am. Yeah, it looks, it looks like a lot of fun, uh, for sure. Kill the show with Cole. Just uh, watching the draft. Yeah, that'd be fun. It does suck. I can't like have it in the background or something like some middle ground. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to get. I don't want to get in trouble. Get a strike or anything. Ooh, Bergevin's talking about the Anderson trade. I want to hear this. Gave up a pretty good asset in Domi. I'd say, I'd say better than pretty good, to be fair. I like Anderson, but I still think Domi a third is too much. But having said that, uh, the last couple Montreal trades I didn't think they won turned out, or like the last couple where other people you know didn't think they won, turned out they won. Like the Tatar trade was great for them, uh, Gang Suzuki, Tatar for Chapacharetti, uh, Galchenyuk for Domi turned out to be a good trade. I just I don't know I, I can't see this one winning though. New GM, the Devils. Dawson Mercer goes to the Devils. There he is. I think that's a great pick for them. Holtz and Mercer. Uh, Devils are stacking up, honestly. Like, that's, that's not bad at all. I think uh, they probably go defense, pick 20. But we'll see, we'll see. Mercer, great choice, yeah. Yeah, he was on the World Junior team. I thought he did good in a depth roll there. Hmm. 
Do you think the Devils trade their 20th pick? Man, we haven't seen a single trade yet, which is kind of insane. Like, not even a, a trade down, just draft picks, right? Like, literally nothing. Um, it's interesting. Like, no movement. Usually there's some more movement in later picks, so we'll see. The thing is, it'll be like... I don't know, it'll be like pick 23 and a third to go to pick 21. Like, it's gonna be nothing. Just gotta adjust here. Oh. Pain in the ass to trade uh, with this virtual draft? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Amiro sucks. I don't think he's that bad, dude. You gotta trust your uh, Russian scouts. Like, Toronto seems to know what they're doing in Russia. Perfect is a great place to be your placement for Line 8. I really hope the Jets, for the Jets' sake, don't trade Line 8. I don't, you can't, it's hard to find a player like Line 8 that can score that much. Jonathan Taze is who they compared uh, Dawson Mercer to. That's, that's a big time comparable. Why you look so sad? I don't know, maybe just cause like the angle, I'm watching it. Mercer, a Leafs fan, they got a picture of him uh, in Leafs pajamas. <laughs> Watch out Devils fans, he might be coming back. I might pull Tavares. Uh, Luke Hughes in this draft? No, he's next year. He should be a top 10 if not uh, top 5. I know Rossi dropped quite a bit, him and Perfetti both, very surprised. I thought Detroit could have taken one of those two, or Raymond, or Drysdale. Uh, it turned out to be Raymond, but yeah, it's pretty crazy how much those guys dropped. Auto taking Sanderson was definitely the biggest uh, surprise of the draft, I'd say. Or Jack Quinn going to Buffalo, and with the Ottawa 67s, and everyone thinking it was Rossi, then turned out to be Quinn, that was also very surprising. This Flames pick, I really don't know what they're gonna do. I, based on who's available, I'm trying to see who did I. I had them taking Connor Zary. I could do that. Noel Gunler, Hendrix Lapierre. Um, I feel like they probably go for. Oh, Calgary trades down. There we go. First trade reported by Elliot Friedman uh, to 22, so they only drop back three spots. I think we just mentioned like this kind of trade happening, and they and they get 72, which is a third rounder. Literally just said a team moving up from like I think I said like what I, I think I might have said almost exactly this so there's our first trade of uh, the actual draft not just draft day um, so New York wants somebody I wonder who it is New York wants you don't trade up unless you have a guy in mind so we'll see trade 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 streams behind. What are you streaming? I've got the Sportsnet stream. What stream do you have? Because I saw the, the trade on tw uh, Twitter first, though. That's the fastest. Hmm. Hamannick's probably gone from Calgary. I think Hamannick's going to go to Winnipeg. That uh, was the Rangers. Curious to see who the Rangers get now with Lafreniere. It's a big, it's a big trade. They're trying to have a nice draft class, 2020 first overall. Somebody else. 
Edmonton could have done the same in 2015, McDavid and Barzell. Uh, yeah, we'll see what they do here. Okay, they got five minutes now, but like, you don't trade up unless you know exactly who you're taking. You better not take like five minutes to make the pick. I'm trying to get adjusted here, boys. Um, trading up for lap here. Could be a guy they're really high on, yeah, for sure. Lafreniere and Lapierre, kind of nasty, right? Kind of nasty. Um, hmm. Burke's talking about the chart they have, which like basically it's like math that tells you what picks you should have to give up to move up or down. So if you really want to move up, you can pay more than what the chart says, and then if you don't really care, you could take a little bit less to move down, kind of thing. I did have Zeri going to the Flames at nineteen. Maybe Zeri drops at twenty-two to the Flames. It's really they could they maybe they want D-Man and they go Schneider here. Wow, I don't know how you can trade up and then not just know the pick immediately. Like, how are they taking the whole five minutes? I've seen a lot of stuff about Line A going to Philly, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. They seem to be the most interested where they said, like, the price is too high. The thing is, like, the price has to be high for a guy like Line A. Like, I think he'll, I, he's the next, he's the closest thing we have to Ovechkin. When Ovechkin's gone, Line A, sh Line A should be, like, you know what I mean? The next Ovechkin. Um, not on that level, but in terms of he's the bigger guy. He's, he's got the shot from, like, you know, his office. The trade, the, you got to pay a lot to make that trade happen. So, I'm thinking Ghost. Um, I'm thinking you, you got to include a ton of pieces. Fair be your Frost. Probably a first. It's expensive. Probably worth it though too, to be honest. Like, goals are the most important thing, more so than assists. He scores goals. I have a line A jersey. Any more Americans going? Um. Ooh, good question. I think it's mostly Canadians and Europeans. Um, is Jacob Perot is he American or is he Canadian? Jacob Perot was born in uh, Illinois, so he's American. So yeah, he'll probably go in the first round. All right, Rangers making the pick. Let's see who they take. It is Schneider. Okay, so they wanted a D-man to go along with the Frenier. I mean, they're stocking up. I mean, that's a good pick. That's... The Rangers are getting good. They're getting good. They're getting good quick, too. That's a W? I mean, I can't argue, man. That's, that's a nice pick. So we got the Devils third pick now. And you got the Blue Jackets pick. About to leave? Alright, uh, Rachel, thanks for coming out. Dawson for ready to Winnipeg? I think that's a great, uh, great, great pick by Winnipeg falling there. Devils get Lapierre? That'd be three awesome forwards. Honestly. Mercer, Holtz, Lapierre, like. It's a solid draft. I mean, they're a really good draft, to be honest. I thought all three were going to be top 15. Devils had three top 20 picks, so sweep them out. 
Are we finally going to see LaPierre go? I feel like we definitely could. Will Tampa trade Tyler Johnson? I don't think tonight. Tyler Johnson doesn't get you a first. He gets you like a second. So that trade probably happens tomorrow morning. Top four defenseman, uh, comparable Jacob Truba. That's this is the guy that everyone the Leafs wanted. If he turns out to be sick, if he turns out to be about as good as Jacob Truba, and Amirov isn't a top six forward, Leafs are gonna be pissed. Um, the Lucas Reichel pick to the Blackhawks still an interesting one for me. If it's not LaPierre, it's Zary. Or it's Wallander if they want a defenseman. There's like no defense. Baron. Could be Baron, I guess. I still can't believe like that they're looking I'm looking at the draft history. I still can't believe how much Rossi and Perfetti fell. That's just crazy. Reichel's an interesting pick for the Hawks. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't know much about him. Like he plays in Germany. Uh, we all know what Stutzl and stuff, but like when I was looking at Reichel, um, most people had him like late first. A few people are high on him, so mid first. Um I am surprised. I don't know. There were the people. There, I think there's better players available still on the block. Uh, thoughts on the Sens rebranding? Thank you, Foster, for the donation. I really liked it, man. I I really liked it. I think it looks a lot cleaner now. Uh, I was always a fan of the logo. I was like a fan of the 2D more than the 3D. So um, I definitely, yeah, definitely like that. Uh, Bozak for a fifth. You probably have to pay the trade Bozak's contract. Same with Steen, same with Blues. It's not too late to do that, try and keep Petrangelo, but it sounds like Petrangelo's going to free agency. Do you think Escarra was the best pick for Nashville, and when do you think Nashville signed his... Honestly, he was probably best player available at that point. It was either him or Lundell. Um, and Rene's close to retirement. Saros, I thought they were higher on Saros, and clearly they were, because um, I thought about having Escarra at 11 as well. So is that a smash in two years? Maybe less. Um, thoughts on the Anderson Domi trade? I thought Columbus won it, man. Sorry, I see you're a Montreal fan. Flurry trade, potentially, yeah. I was, I was here in Vegas, might give up a second round pick for someone to take Flurry. Or, sorry, is it a second to get Flurry at half, half, uh, like, contract? Honestly, Flurry, I no, I think it was they'd pay somebody a second round pick to take three and a half, like, to take Flurry at 50%, which is insane. Like, Edmonton, Ottawa. Sharks already got Doom, Nick Jones. Buffalo. Um, Detroit, there's so many teams that Flurry is the immediate starter, it's insane. Talking about LaPierre right now. I wonder if they tell them when they're on the cam when they're on camera or if like they just have to be sitting there the whole time. Not doing much. I feel like that's a lot worse than like in the stands. Shashurkin looked really good, man, in, the, in last year. I mean, that's the reason why Lundqvist got bought out, right? I think Raymond's a nice pick for Detroit. I'm happy with it. Uh, he's a safer pick than Rossi, who I thought was the other player they could take. Boomer bust. Clearly, clearly, probably the better pick because Rossi fell in nine, like at least in terms of trade, like in terms of trade value. So if they really liked Rossi too, maybe they could have came back up, but they didn't. And Dell's on the clock. Their third pick of the first round. Mercer, Holtz, Hughes, Smith, Hishu, like they got some good young players. I think there's some sort of rule where something has to go back to Vegas. They can't just trade the contract. 
Yeah, it'd be like a conditional pick, future considerations. Picks in. I have no idea who the Devils just took. Russian defenseman Shakir Muk Hamadulin. No idea who he is. Uh, One point twenty-seven games last year. I have no idea. I know Conor McGregor. Like who the fuck is that guy? Um. Uh, I don't know. That's that's a weird one. I think. I think they could have got him a lot later. Slip so here is still out there. Columbus, if they had Domi and Lapierre today for Josh Anderson. It's a good day for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, Connor Zeri is still there as well. A lot of really good names out there. Uh, Ten picks left. Odds of Lani going to Chicago? I don't know what that one because they wanted a good young defenseman. Chicago would have to give up Bockfist. I don't really know what else they could make for like the nucleus of the trade. Who's next? Yeah, I'm thinking Lapierre, Zeri. Maybe a team likes Mysik. Um, maybe a guy like Bjork. Walner, I is who I thought was the next best defenseman, but this guy I've never heard of <laughs> just got taken. I'm assuming he was like a second, third uh, projection. Alright, so they're back on uh, commercial break here, guys. I'm not going to lie, I think I might end it here, guys. I was hoping to do the entire first round, but uh, we're two and a half hours in, and they're, they're only two th three thirds of the way to, they got ten picks left, so probably going to be up, like, I'm taking another hour and a half or so, and I'm, just, I'm starving, like, I'm absolutely starving. I haven't had dinner yet, so. Uh, I think the best available is Hendrick the Pierre. I'll answer a few questions quick. Um, line A for Ghost, you know, it'd be, like, Ghost, Fair Beer Frost, the first rounder. Um, but I appreciate you guys all coming out, uh, you know, watching the draft with me. Um, it was a lot of fun. I will see if anything goes, you know, crazy in these last 10 picks. Probably not, probably just small trades. Um, I'm going to have my top 10 right mirrors, um, video out after I eat. And then, uh, probably the thoughts on the trade, the Anderson for Domi tomorrow. But, um, Winnipeg, yeah, did get a steal of a pick for with Perfetti at 10. Probably him and uh, Rossi 9 and 10 are the steals of the draft. Titan, appreciate it, man. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for coming out. Um, we'll have to, I'm not, I probably won't be streaming the, the picks tomorrow, uh, but I appreciate all you guys. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, yeah, 